This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. We're live from Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and we're in the kitchen, which means it's time to cook. And we brought the expert, Barb Stewart. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine, thank you. All right, and we are going to be making a ham and cheese casserole, correct? It's a comfort food mm -hmm. um, on these chili, although it's not so chilly. Yeah, no, but it's okay. But it's, it's, it's a okay. good comfort food um, to, to eat during the during the winter, and it's okay. very it's very easy to put together. All right. Um, we have cooked up six ounces of wide noodles that okay. you get in a package, a dry package okay. like this, and we're going to cover it with ground ham. Okay. Uh, you buy a boneless ham and grind it in your uh, food processor. Oh, okay. okay. And you cover the noodles with the ground ham. You oh. buy about, um, it's, I bought one of the, um, I don't know, four pound hams okay. and okay. probably used about three fourths of it. Okay. And how, ground it up. how much, how many noodles do you put in here? Uh, this is a lot. Six ounces. Okay. There were six ounces. This is going to make a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, well if I'm you're hungry, cooking, Teresa. You, okay. <laughs> usually, when you're cooking for your family, you know, I'm usually cooking for a family, or right. or you can divide it in half. Yes. And you can have part of it. And I'm take, not saying it's bad. Okay. I'm just saying that it, there's a lot. Take part of it to your neighbor. Okay, that's know, very nice. La lady it is neighbor. random kind of sack day today. So. Yeah. So, so what's next? After that, we're going to make a white sauce mm, here, okay. which we're, we're going to put a fourth of a cup of margarine okay. in, which you or have. butter. Which I guess we have. We need to turn this up a little. Okay. Is that okay. how we do this? Yes, there we go. And then we're going to put two cups of milk. All right. Okay. And. Are we going to want to bring this to a it, boil? Uh, yes. Okay. And then. And, and we're going to try real hard not to scorch it because okay. cheese and milk scorches very easily. All right. And if then if you get your temperature too high, yes. Pour the, pour the flour in, which okay. is a fourth of a cup of flour. Okay. And then whisk it. Which, is that high enough from there? Oh, it's getting there. Okay. Okay, so we keep Just doing we this until quick. it's all blended together. It's all blended together. Okay. Um, then you're going to put uh, a teaspoon of mustard. Mustard? Yes. Okay. Kind of shake it. Not, not no. in there. We're going to put it in her pan, but oh. shake it so that it's not all runny. Okay. Here. Here we go. Um, and how much is it again? Oops, it's a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And put it in her pan. Alrighty. This is going to give it a little bit of flavor. Yes, it is. There you go, Ella. All right, and then what's next? Next is the very secret ingredient, which is horseradish. Oh, and which how much? Which really adds well. And this, I have to, we have to scoop it out with this knife because it didn't. It it actually uses a tablespoon. Oh, a oh. tablespoon. But, but if you're a person that likes. Um, likes the really hot, you know, likes things really spicy, you could use more, actually, okay. than than a tablespoon. I'm not a real spicy kind of gal, so. You know, I've never cooked with horseradish before. Um, it, it just absolutely makes this casserole. Okay. Absolutely makes it. Is it going so, to give it a little kick? Because yes. I, I think it's, yes. Yeah. It's and nice with oh, the that cheese. Is strong. And then, it is strong. Woo! Cleared <laughs> <laughs> up my sinuses. Well, it's, it's fresh. I mean, okay. I just bought it. Yesterday. Okay, and then what's our so, next step? Because we have so, about a minute left. Okay, we'll just make this, we just cook this until it gets thick. Okay. And to this, we add the cheese. Add the cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Throw the cheese in there. Alrighty. And we want to melt the cheese. What kind of cheese is this? This is Velveeta cheese. Okay. Okay. I haven't ever tried any other cheese, like okay. a sharp cheddar or okay. anything. I okay. So Velveeta. Could. And you used the whole pack? Um, I used um, a half fourth, a half a pound is what I half used. A, pound? a half a pound of cheese. The okay. recipe will be on the website. Okay. And then when you get done with that, then mm -hmm. you're going to pour. Um, the, the cheese, cheese mixture over the casserole. Okay. Put it in your casserole dish. Okay. So do you want to go ahead and do that really quickly? Yep. We can do that. Okay. Right. Let's see here. <laughs> it looks and smells delicious. Now, are you going to have to bake this at all, or? Well, you do need to warm it up. Okay. Uh, everything is really cooked. Okay. But you you do need to warm it up oh, yeah, and. Okay. Um, um, so it's so about we'll mix... thirty minutes, thirty to forty-five okay. minutes, and and. So... Um, Okay. Perfect. Well, welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're live from Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and we're in the kitchen, which means we're cooking, and we were making a ham and cheese casserole. So let's go ahead and recap the ingredients we used. Okay. We used six ounces of wide noodles. Okay. 
and we uh, boiled those and mixed it with uh, ground ham, okay. which was about probably three pounds of a boneless ham that is uh, pre-cooked ham. Okay and ground it, like in your food processor, or okay. if you don't have a food processor, you can uh, chop it up in chunks. All right, and then we made a sauce. A, a white sauce, which, which we is flour. Flour, a, milk, butter. Butter, and a then we bit. put a, a teaspoon, of, a tablespoon of horseradish, a tablespoon of mustard, mm -hmm. and um, a half pound of cheese, Perfect. Velveeta cheese. And then once this was all finished like this, nice and thick and creamy, we poured it in with our noodles and our ham, mixed it together, and then what do we do really quickly? We put it uh, in a casserole dish and okay. cook it for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. Perfect. All, all right. right. Scrumptious. It oh. looks great and right. it smells great. Yeah. So, so and we're going to have the uh, recipe on our website later today. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out at heartlandconnection.com. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Your news will continue tonight with KTVO News at 5, but you can check us out anytime at heartlandconnection.com. Hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 6 a.m.